New Orleans, like many cities, is realizing they need to have mask mandates. Here is the mayor's statement on their new mask mandate. And before you today, a grin at a critical moment in our city. And thanks to the Delta variant, uh, the COVID pandemic is once again raiding out of control. As of today, there have been 35,115 cases and 814 deaths reported in our community. Over 1,000 new cases in New Orleans just over this past week. Over 1,000 cases just over this past week and heading over six deaths in our community. The average daily cases from 104 last week to 272 this week. This is a very dangerous number. We have been here before. We've seen the movie over again. And what was once unpreventable, today it's preventable. And it's through our people getting vaccinated. Our positivity rate is now at 10.7%. It was 6.5% just two days ago. This touches everyone in our community but with a very laser focused on young children in our community. Our children are dying. From two weeks old to two years old, to four years old, you cannot make it up. Our children are dying. Today I'm issuing a mandatory mask up, NOLA a mandatory mask for the city of New Orleans. All of our people need to mask up when they are indoor. And it's always been, if you're in large crowds in our city, over 500, you're supposed to have that mask on. But what we're saying now, you really need that mask on, period. Whether you are vaccinated, and of course, if you're unvaccinated. This is for all, again, individuals in our community, vaccinated and or otherwise. I'm asking also that city employees, moving from that incentive base to mandatory vaccinations for city employees. I reported that the city of New Orleans has been doing very well at over 71% of our employees who are vaccinated, but that is not good enough. We want to get to 100%. And we want to be the example for private industry as well in our city, pushing mandatory vaccinations. This wave of COVID has hit our people very hard. <clears throat> and as I mentioned, even from the onset and what we saw, one of our primary and premier public safety agencies, EMS, was hit very hard with COVID. We're experiencing that this week, today, right now. And what that has now prompted me to do is sign an emergency contract that therefore allows the city of New Orleans to increase our capacity on the ground because we currently do not have the capacity to respond to 911 calls that come from our community right now. So when Dr. Nichols, our director, sound that alarm. Of course, without hesitation, we've moved forward through legal to take these steps to, to ensure that we have the capacity to respond to our people and in a timely manner. Thank you, Dr. Nichols. Thank you so much, Dr. Avegno. The state has informed us that they do not have the capacity as well in terms of leaning on the state for additional capacity. Therefore, I have no choice to move forward with an emergency contract. And that is routed through our Office of Homeland Security. We've been saying the same thing over and over and over again. None of this is new. But what we know, again, what's not new, we know how to do what's right to address public health and public safety concerns in our city. And now we're leaning again back on the people of our community, on the business community, to follow the city's lead in ensuring that mandatory vaccinations are required for your employees as well. Ramsey will speak on what we're requiring as it relates to the contractors, 
doing business for the city of New Orleans and working in public spaces around the city, also being required to get vaccinated. So with this, I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Jennifer Avegno. You'll hear from Dr. Nichols. You'll hear from Ramsey Green. And as always, I'll offer our can before. Oh, well, weird cut at the end. So I wasn't the only one that made a mistake there. So as you saw, um, essentially, they're doing mandatory vaccines if you want to work for the city of New Orleans in any capacity. If you're picking up garbage outside, you're vaccinated. If you want to fix a toilet inside of City Hall, you're vaccinated. They're also doing mass mandates for all vaccinated and unvaccinated. As you can see, by the time, this is a 15-hour-old video, but I thought it was worth covering because a lot of people are just now finding out about it, um, and they're really not liking it. People are angry that she, she said that the state, city is going mandatory as an example to private businesses. So essentially what she's saying is if you run a business in New Orleans, probably a good idea if you mandated the vaccine as well. Which is great, because we need to be mandating the vaccine to anyone who has enough health to get it. If you don't have a health problem preventing you from getting it, you should have been vaccinated already. They're available pretty easy to get. I'm sure someone will threaten to sue them and fail, but uh, as you heard, the EMS can't even keep up. I was reading last night about that, and there's a lot of issues with uh, younger children in New Orleans and things like that. But that is the statement. That is the full statement posted on Instagram. So I thought that's probably the most important piece they wanted you to see. And I hope that explains what's going on in New Orleans because I'm sure it's going to be uh, spreading. Because they were down to, I believe, just a mask mandate. It wasn't even a mandate. It was like an advisory. You should if you're inside a week ago or so. It was just like, you should probably wear a mask. And that was a week ago. And it's now shifted to, you have to wear it. And you have to be vaccinated if you want to work for the city. And I'm just going to double check to make sure I'm not missing anything else. But, uh, a whole, or they have a video, uh, a picture up. Uh, let me see if I can load this real quick. Showcasing the athletes from a local high school getting COVID shots in New Orleans. This was actually, the video I showed you is actually the newest Instagram post, and this is before it, basically saying, get vaccinated like these high school athletes, which they definitely should for not just normal health reasons, but, you know, they don't want to have decreased lung capacity as an athlete. Like, that would, like, that would hurt their athletics for possibly the rest of their lives. But, uh, yeah, just want to do an update on New Orleans, because... I've noticed a trend that are starting to become the evil city in a lot of far-right groups. 